Just tell us about the last minute of the game. Back and forth. Uh, what were you thinking about when uh, we had the chance and, and then let through steal and had the last yeah, made a really bad pitch to the ball. Uh, he knew the position in the moment. He really didn't sure. Instead of just gathering himself and bringing the ball out and getting the pitch up when he really liked what he saw, or he anticipated somebody being there who wasn't there and we threw the ball. I guess that was valid I and mean, it looked like a pretty clean cool play to me, but what are you going to do? We had a look to win it with our best shooter and it didn't go down. What are you talking to the guys about when they're up by 20? Just about playing with better energy and fighting to get back in the game. You know, it seems like we we're fighting, but we're letting them win every play at the basket, out hustle us, out work us, and do all that. And it's our home, and if that's where we're going to play, we're going to lose by 40. And when we went small, our guys had more fight in them playing small. And I loved how hard they worked to not only get back in the game, but get the chance to win it. We were proud to see the guys help, help, help that one. Absolutely. Those, those five kids who put all the time in, and even the guys, in the, most of the guys on the bench were great on the bench, well cheering for them. Those kids worked as hard as they've ever worked this year, and I was really proud of those guys. It seemed like you were uh, doing well with the press with uh, Isaiah Williams and Poole leading that. Yeah, I thought they did a really good job, and I think that's who we're supposed to be, and we don't always play with that kind of energy. You see, the first half, I thought we were doing a good job with it, but there was one guy on our team who kept allowing the ball to get past to his man to beat the pressure, and that would turn into layups. So we removed that guy in the second half, and the press got better. How do you now move forward with that kind of ball in the Sunday? You know what? If our guys dwell on it, we'll lose Sunday. Tanner's a good team. They're coming in here. We just had a tough one with them last week. Um, you know, they have an extra day of rest than we're going to have, and it's a tough loss. You've got to just throw up this map and play and play better from the start of the game. Is that tough, too, the quick turnaround? The it's very hard, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not something that makes a lot of sense why you would do that. But it's I feel like Darren had a big first half and he gave up 50 points. Is that a tough uh, stretch defensively? You know what? Not defensively. He's a great offense. Sometimes off- offense is better than defense. Here. A good offense player is going to score anytime they want to win their own. He was ridiculous. He's hitting shots from half court, for God's sake. Not that we played good defense, but they were making great shots. You know, we should have made some of the same shots to stay in that game. We knew we had a score at this team because of how good they are. We don't have those forces they have inside to go with the perimeter play. Their horses kick the crap out of our horse in the first half. Thanks. Thanks.